Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Bilal Abdul Karim for On the Ground News. Today we'd like to address a special message to both the Syrian people and to the Muhajireen or those foreigners who came over to help the Syrian people. There is a serious, serious epidemic going around here in northern Syria in the free territories and that epidemic is not the chicken pox, it's not the measles, and it's not the mumps. That epidemic is the epidemic of kidnapping. Kidnapping is something that has become so widespread in the free territories, but it's going unreported because most of the people who fall victim to kidnappings either never return or because they can't pay the ransom, or once they've paid the ransom and they return home to their families, they either leave to go to Turkey or they stay silent for fear that it may happen to them again. Therefore, I am here to address everyone, letting everyone know that the threat is very, very real, very, very credible. Sometimes four or five times a week, we receive news of kidnappings. Now that's only the news that we receive. That doesn't include the dozens of kidnappings that take place on a monthly basis that never, the news never even reaches us. So therefore, I would like to say to everyone, one, several things. Number one, the reason for this is because the doers, sometimes the regime, sometimes the Dawaiish, or th those who've been a part of ISIS, or other than them, just common criminals, they do it for different reasons. The regime wants to break your spirit so that you will just do away with all of this revolution, go back to the way things were, but this time it'll be much worse. The second uh, thing, Dawaiish, well that's just what they do. They just kidnap people and they play the role of spoilers by putting bombs underneath people's cars and so on and so forth because they don't believe that most of the people here in the free territories are even Muslim and they're the only Muslims that people need to uh, 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 actually consider that they are on Islam. And the third group are common criminals. These common criminals are the people who are just opportunists that want an opportunity to pull in a few dollars so that they can go to wherever it was that they go to or crawl back under whatever rock that they crawled underneath, from underneath. So, therefore, we would call on the people to do several things. Number one, be very, very vigilant in terms of where you are, your surroundings, and who is surrounding you. Be cautious about going out at night, particularly if you are going by yourself, which is not recommended, because sometimes they like to set up fake checkpoints and and you think you're just stopping at a regular checkpoint, the next thing you know you end up with a bag over your head inside of somebody's warehouse. Number three, be very cautious of where your family members are and so that they are aware that this uh, epidemic of kidnapping can affect them as well. And finally, I would like to say that I do not believe that uh, or I should say next to last, I would like to say that I do not believe that things will get better unless and until people are aware of it and they confront these would-be kidnappers because many people carry weapons, they carry guns or so on and so forth. You have to make a decision before it happens. If something like that were to happen to you, would you be willing to go with them and hope perhaps maybe somehow, some way, someday that some loved ones or family members will be able to put together hundreds of thousands of dollars, which they probably will not be able to do, in which case you will be tortured and then tossed on the side of the road and then no one would ever know exactly what happened to you. Or would you be willing to confront your kidnappers and say, hey, if you're going to shoot me, you're going to shoot me here in the street and then somebody will drag me to the hospital because I'm not getting in that van. These are issues that people need to be aware of before a kidnapping or potential kidnapping happens to take place. And finally, a message to the groups. The groups which are here, I would like to say, some of those groups are working very hard in trying to track down these would-be kidnappers. And I ask the entire Ummah to make dua for these people. And there are some groups that basically sit on their hands and do nothing but complain. And I ask Allah to have the Ummah to make dua for those people so that they would come back and start working for the sake of Islam and trying to protect the Muslims. And finally, I would say that all of the groups that are here, 
along with the Syrian people, along with the Muhajirin, all need to come together because we can solve this problem and put these would-be kidnappers, be they criminal, be they Dawaiish, or be they the regime, because they're all in one bin, and put them back on their heels. My name is Bilal Abdul Kareem for On the Ground News. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.